Hello, hello everybody, Kyung here, and we're here with some envelopes, and we're going to make um, an ephemera holder. That's what I decided, like an ephemera holder. So I'm going to use two envelopes. Let's see, what are their sizes? They are nine and a half by four. They're about nine and a half by four. They're like those business envelopes. I don't know, I think I got them at the Dollar Tree. <laughs> I'm going to kind of fold them into each other like this. Right, okay, like that. I'm going to fold this one like this. Okay, and then I'm going to take my glue and I'm just going to glue this flap. Maybe if my glue is not plugged, I need to put new glue in my glue bottle. <laughs> I may need to do that now. Okay. I'm going to fold this over. And then I'm going to kind of fold it, like put a new fold in it, right? So that it's not completely flush, right? We've got a little bit of room. And this is fine. I'm going to leave this and I'm not going to glue it down because we're going to put something in and glue it down and it will, it will be fine. So this is what we have. I think I'm going to have it open like this so that we have this pocket here like this. And I want to put a pocket here. Maybe we'll put a couple pockets because it's going to be an ephemeral holder. So the first thing I'm going to do is let me put a pin in my glue. Okay, and then let's ink it real quick. I think I'm going to do vintage photo. So I hope everyone has been having a good week. Um, it's been just gorgeous here. The uh, weather has been stunning. It's been so warm. And all the birds have come back. Okay, so we have that. I suppose I can ink the rest of it real quick. Might as well. So I'm thinking I'm going to use my, uh, this vintage, um, I think I'll decorate it vintage, right? This ephemeral holder that I'm making and I think I'll use the science magazine. This one, I pulled it out. Dum dum dum. I think it's dated like let's see what's it, what is it dated? July 1933. Wow, look at that. <laughs> Do you guys like my nails? I painted them many colors, right? They're multicolored cuz I thought that would be fun. This dauber is, um, it is chewed up. That's okay. I just want to ink it. I think I'm going to ink the inside um, fold like that. Lovely. And I do want to ink this part too, the inside the envelope part, if you will. Okay, let's get all our <laughs> dauber pieces off of our table, off of our envelope. Okay, so here we go. This is our front, and I'm gonna cut a slit in the top of the just this one. A little large of a slit, but that's okay. I may have to go in and redauber that a little bit. Okay, so we have this opens here. Awesome. 
So what do I want to do? Let's use, I have some bits of coffee dyed paper, just some scrap. Let's put some of that on for like background. Oh, I may have to, yep, I'm going to have to pause and refill my glue real quick. Well, we can stick this piece down. Lovely. All right, and we're back, and I've refilled my little glue bottle. So we should be good to go. I'm just going to kind of collage little bits of this coffee dyed paper onto this envelope. Like that. So let me think, what else do I know? Oh, I made gumbo for dinner. That was really good. I also, oops, I made beignets. I don't know what is going on with my, um, with my lamp. Okay, well hopefully our light stops dimming and getting brighter. I don't know what's going on with that. I'm worried it's dying. I hope it's not dying on me. Okay, wonderful. So we have a little bit of background. That's fine. We could do a little bit of stamping, I suppose. Let's see. What do we have? We have this one that has like text. It says thinking of you. Let's grab our um, yoga mat. It's a piece of yoga mat and I'm thinking I'll do it in black. And we only need a little bit here and there. I'm not gonna, it doesn't need to be perfect. All right, we're just stamping some text on because we're gonna cover most of it anyway with uh, with this magazine. But I wanted a little bit of background Right? Right. Okay. Sounds good. So that's been stamped on. You can't fool a motor about gasoline. That's what that guy says. <laughs> Let's see. Let's grab a couple of cool pages. I love this with the planes. That's very cool. I also love this. That's cool with the horse and the phone stuff. We've got the model railway. That's very cool. Let's see. Let's find perhaps something that doesn't have such large images. Hmm? I like the flowers. Let's use this one because I like the flower. <laughs> okay. So let's see. We'll pull this one. We'll pull this one with the lady with the phone thing on her head. <laughs> Look at the phone thing on her forehead. Okay. Tiny microphones help singer make record. Very cool. Okay. Cool ideas. A lot of these were implemented. Some of them were just ideas like this one. Put dime slot, dime put in slot ring, slot rings doorbell. Right. Okay. So the idea, right, was that you deterred unwanted guests by charging people to ring your doorbell. <laughs> Oh, goodness. I thought that was hilarious. Okay. <laughs> I think I'm going to cut it here. Hmm. Maybe we'll just cut this piece out like this. I'm just going to use my scissors. I'm just going to cut this off. We'll trim this up.
Movements of pollen dust. Okay, let's put that there. We could cut this part out about that. The flower, about flower and flowers and dust. <laughs> it says flower to flower. Thinking I'll rip it here. I think I'll glue part of it here. Right, and if we're putting this one here, I might put this one up here like this. I like it. Let's do it, and then maybe we'll put some flowers, actual flowers on it. To give it a little bit of color. I don't know, maybe not. Maybe we'll put stamps on it or something. I do need to put like the pockets and everything else in the... Can't spend all of my time on the cover. So I like that though so far. That's great. Let me glue down this little corner. Okay, wonderful, wonderful. So there's that. So let's do some similar in on this side. What do we have on this? We have this cool guy um, using a really cool pulley thing to carry this guy, looks like. A cool kind of maybe rescue system. I don't know. Yeah, it even says rescue work. It looked like something maybe for like firemen. We'll just kind of cut around it like that. Right, leave a little bit of a border. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Okay, we'll glue this one here. I always forget to get my corners when I'm doing something like this because I'm not stitching around it, you know? Oh, please do not plug on me. I mean, this is what happens when I don't, when I leave my glue uncovered. I think right here. Lovely. Okay. So yes, let's put this guy up here because he is fabulous. I'm going to stamp a little bit of this text. Again, it doesn't need to be perfect, so. I just want a little bit. here and there. Okay. Just write some text in the background. Perhaps, <laughs> perhaps right there. I don't know. That's fine. This thing is cool. Color of flame reveals gas leak. We'll just cut this guy out and put him right on here too, because he is very cool. And we'll put a pocket. Let me think. What do I want to use for a pocket? I can 
look in my scrap box. Let's see. Ooh, look at this. Here is a piece that I made. Let's use this. It's very lovely. Looks like I made it with like some vintage photo or maybe, yeah, some vintage photo oxide maybe. All right, so let me even this out. So my lilacs and my aspen tree survived the winter. They're finally waking up from their, um, from their winter slumber. So yay, they're waking up. I'm so happy. Okay, we're going to put this pocket here. Like that. I'm going to ink it real quick and we'll put like a piece of ephemera or something on it. Let's see, I've got that playbill I can look through too. Let's see, what else do we have that we could tear into? What is this? It's a work basket from 1969. Let's see. I'm sure there's something in here, right? We've got all these little ads and stuff. Hair off. <laughs> oh, look at that. Cut yourself a bunch of fun. Let's see. I think that would work. I'm just going to pull that out. I think I'm going to tear it out. Just going to tear it out. I'm not going to be particular. Let's see. Cut yourself a bunch of fun. Okay, awesome. I do want to tear off this black line on the side because it's annoying me. Okay, <laughs> I'm not going to ink it, but I am going to make sure I glue off. Um, I said glue off because I read the off <laughs> to glue the sides real well so that they don't stick up. Lovely. And then we can fit another thing on there. Curried creamed eggs. Leg of lamb with horseradish sauce and crochet hooks. Crochet hooks? Only one dollar. A two dollar and seventy five cent value. You get a complete set. <laughs> oh, goodness. Kind of, kind of like it, but I think I'm gonna rip it. I think I'm gonna rip it here. I'm gonna rip that 16 off, kind of. That way, it kind of blends in, and then, you know, we'll think about. I may leave it blank. I kind of really like the vintage kind of look. Just glue our pocket on. Okay, awesome. Now I want a piece to put in behind here. Let's see, what do we have here? What is this? 
lost oil fields. <laughs> I don't know about that. Um, what else do we have? What is this? Nothing of any consequence. Where did my magazine go? Oh, here it is. Let's look. Midget Gardens. Tricks of Firebugs. I really like that. That's really cool. I'm just going to tear this one out. Because I like that. For your microscope. Okay, so I'm going to cut it about here. I know I'm going to cut the top of that guy's head off. The poor guy. But I want to glue this. See, about right here. So we can cut it. We can cut it there. Let me grab my guillotine for this one. So yeah, I bought those tear rulers and it was so funny. They're not tear rulers. <laughs> They're dies. <laughs> and what's so what's worse is I didn't even realize until Jen put a, made a comment on the video about how she bought the same die set. Like she was like, "Oh, I bought that same die set." And I was like, "Oh my gosh. They are dies, aren't they? They're not." <laughs> So, I'm going to buy an actual tear ruler. <laughs> I can't believe. Oh, I like the tricks. That's right. We were going to use the tricks of firebugs, which I like better. Yes, tricks of firebugs. I like better than the microscope. The microscope is a cool word, but... How dare you plug in the middle of me? Again, it's because I'm terrible with my lid. Don't leave your glue like I do. <laughs> Without putting your lid on. I'm just very lazy. Very lazy like that. Okay, so there's that. I'm kind of upset the way the glue seeped through. It usually doesn't ever do that to me. It did this time. Okay, let's see. What else? We've got this. I want to put maybe this car on here. We've got stuff about ants, which I'm also totally fine with. So, I'm thinking let's... Yeah, we can cut this entire bottom part off. Okay, and then we can cut the top part off, or the middle part off. Yeah, like this. I'll just mark it and then... And then we'll trim it. Oops. Oops. Let me erase that mark. <laughs> Goodness gracious. So, yeah. So I'm very excited. Janya is going to open a shop of tea dyed papers. I'm very excited. And it's not quite ready, but once it's ready, and she sent me a sample pack. It's way crooked, but that's okay. Um, she sent me a sample pack, so I'm going to show it off probably as my next envelope video because she sent me some envelopes too. So very exciting. Ta-da! I love that. That looks great. And just glue. Again, I'm trying to get the, uh, the edges if I can. It's kind of thin paper. You know, it's that magazine paper. So it's old magazine paper, so it's not really very shiny. It's from the 30s. 
from the 30s. I like this. Let's try to get this on here. We won't be able to get the full thing. Turtle like car. Built of. Okay, so a turtle like car. Looks like it said something about motorcycle parts, spare, and motorcycle parts. Looks like a Volkswagen or something, doesn't it? I'm going to put this one here. All right, so we'll get the full, the full text for the most part. Let's see. I like this. We've got the date. April 1969. That's not the correct date. That's for the work basket. We want this one. July 1933. Let's just tear that date out of there. We'll put it here. We'll put a little piece of text here. There. That will look nice. <laughs> of course, we've got this little piece right here. It's missing a... There, we'll just um, glue this little tiny piece of paper on there and call it good. I think it would be fine without it, but I wanted it covered, right? So there we go. We've got this side. And what I would like to do is, oops, that's okay. As a sneak peek to Jania's papers, isn't this gorgeous? Look at this tracing paper. This is tea dyed tracing paper. And it's absolutely stunning. I want to fold a piece of it to put in this pocket. Something about right, about right there. I'm just going to cut it to size. Because it's stunning. Stunning tea dyed tracing paper and I push, should be able to put this in here and look you'll be able to see through it beautiful beautiful so for this what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out a bunch of like pieces of ephemera right like this like this little story about cartoon pillows Right, and instead of just sticking it in the pocket, I'm actually going to back it onto um, coffee dyed paper and then I'm going to stitch it. So let's see, we have that one. Oh, we have this one. Women who make sense. Right, let's see, what else do we have? A tiny microphone. We should definitely put that in there, right? And it should fit. We can trim it. Let me give a little bit of enough, if I can, border for stitching. I doubt I did for these two too much, but yeah, that'll fit in there. So yeah, I'm going to find, let's see, anything here. This doorbell is cool. This, what is this? Wire and blasting cap are attached to a doorbell, so cap is discharged when the button is pushed, thus starting a fire. Alarm, probably, <laughs> not starting a fire. But yeah, or maybe it does start a fire.
right? Some kind of testing stuff. Okay, so there's this piece of ephemera. Something about mosquitoes and earthquakes, which I don't want to put in there. Let's see, we can look at the work basket because it had cool like ads and stuff. Yeah, look at that. Oh, recipes. Let's do recipes. Right, so this one. Spicy lamb pilaf and a quick cheese bread. I'll back that and stitch around it. And then we can do this one, right? Or, or these ones. These ones I think are better. Let's see, I'll keep that one out and put that like in my ephemera box. These ones I'll keep together as like a set and I'll back them. right, and stitch around them. So these will be the ephemera I put in my pocket. So let me back them real quick and then I'll be back. Okie dokie, so I have these pieces. I have backed them all, see, with like some beautiful tea dyed paper. And then I stitched each around each one of them, see? And so this, these ones are tall, but I'm thinking I'm gonna fold them like this. Fold them like that and stick them in there like that. And then these ones, right, I'm not going to fold, right, because they're like, they're fine. They don't need to be folded. Put these ones in the back. This one, again, I think I'm going to fold. Stick in there like that. These ones can go in like that. Ta-da! Stuffed full of ephemera, super awesome. And then we have this pocket here. I'm thinking what I'm gonna put in there. Is one of these letterheads. Let's see, I have all these letterheads. How about this one. Eaton's, Santa Anita, hotel letterheads, vintage hotel letter. I love them. I had bought a whole big bundle of them. So I'm thinking we could just fold this in half like this. It should fit in our envelope. We might cut it down. I may cut it down because right, it's a little long. It can stick up a little bit, but I don't want it to stick up that much. Ta-da, stick that in there like that. That's so awesome. And then we have our beautiful um, tea stained tracing paper in there and a bunch of ephemera in this pocket. And there we have it. And I did not decorate the back, but I'm gonna do the same thing to the back. Let me find a piece. All right, we just need a piece of coffee dyed. Paper. For collaging purposes. Let me rip the zigzag off of that. All right, so let's glue these little pieces onto our envelope. Like right there. See, I think I'll put another one down here in this corner. We'll 
I'll rip this piece and we'll put a couple of these pieces and then I'll use that same stamp. Oh, this is like kind of folded. That's okay. I'll just rip that part off. Right, and this is the back of the thing, so it's not the biggest deal in the world, right? Where did that stamp go? Let me cover my... Okay, so I have my stamp. I have my ink. Ink and stamp. And then, yeah, I'm going to have my next, the challenge, the Think Outside the Box Challenge. I'll have that up in the next day or two. Um... Tommy had contacted me and said, oh, you don't have to rush. <laughs> and I said, oh, cool. <laughs> so I thought I would get an envelope video out first. Okay, so we've got our little bit of stamping. I think I'm going to glue this free catalog piece on here like this. Let's see. Well, that's just going to pull out both. That's fine. Score pad and tally card covers. I like that flower garden piece though. But also like these, like these flower seed. Pull the flower seed one, right? Flower seeds. It's spring. It's about that time. Put that one here. Like that. And we have the lace one. Fifty yards of lace for ninety-eight cents. Oh my goodness! You get one hundred free buttons. <laughs> Sign me up. <laughs> Just send them my way. Hypno, hip, hyponex, plant food, and with all of this plant and flower stuff and lace and stuff, there's an advertisement for. False teeth. That's really weird. <laughs> Just gonna put put that there, maybe. Maybe not. Maybe I will put this lily pad. I'm not really sure. It's a little small. To fit here. We could put something else. Don't really see anything on here that would. How about just this piece? Like this figure it out. That's perfect. Right, we can cover up all that like free whatever on the ad above it. I'm thinking like this. Ta-da, like that. And that's good for like the back of our um, ephemera holder. I think so. Yay, so there it is, our ephemera holder. We've got, it's right now, it's holding a piece of tea dyed um, tracing paper. Lots of ephemera, right, that came out of that 
the work basket and the um, science book. Right, we've got this really cool doorbell. It's so cool. Cool doorbell. And a little bit of writing about it. On the front, we have this pretty flower. Right, and on the back, we've got like ads and stuff. So yay, my ephemeral holder using two envelopes. I had fun with this one. So I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will see you very, very soon with the next Think Outside the Box Challenge. And um, talk to you later. Bye.